Does this footage show preferential treatment compared to the Glorilla incident? What's going on? What do you mean? What's going on? So good. Here, come, come over here real quick. On April 2nd, 2024, Ohio police were called to a scene where an impaired driver had struck a pylon just inches from a gas pump. When deputies arrived, they found a pickup truck in gear with a local councilman behind the wheel. As you watch this video, let us know if you think the councilman received preferential treatment. Should race, sexual orientation, or public status influence how police treat individuals? Hey boss, can you turn the car off for me? You hop out real quick. What's going on? What do you mean? What's going on? Feels good. Come, come over here real quick. Here. Let's come over here, alright? I'll have you sit by my car. 26, 26 the car 20 or 21. Just come over here real quick. I just want to get you away from the car, okay? Talk to my partner over there. Yeah. Here, come over here real quick. What's your name, sir? Yeah. Oh, oh. Where you coming from today, Mr. Demachia? I'm good. You okay? Yeah. I gotcha. Uh, I'm lost. Okay. I don't know if you just want to put him in your car yeah. right now. Here, you want to come take a seat? I just want to get you out of the elements real quick, Mr. Demachia. You're not in trouble. I just, it's raining out here. I don't want you getting wet. You don't have any guns on you or nothing? Yeah. I'll take your word for it. How about that? Here. 28, John William Lincoln. I'll keep the door open if you yeah, want to take a seat. I won't close the door or nothing. I just don't want you getting wet or cold, okay? out of our city. Do you need an ambulance or anything, Mr. Demachia? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to double check your cars and park, okay? I'll be right back. Are you a diabetic, Mr. Demachia? No, sir. Okay. I just want to make sure there's nothing medically wrong with you, okay? I'm not saying, I just want to make sure you're good, you know what I'm saying? Sorry. What's that, sir? No. Tell me what, what I got you. We're just keeping you back here to keep you out of view of the public. Sergeant Orlowski's going to come up. He's going to talk to you and figure this all out. I just don't want people staring at you and talking. You know what I'm saying?
not much. Just figured out who he was, got him back here just to get him out of view of the public. What's that? I'm, I'm fine to do one. Okay. Fine with that? Yeah. Okay. Just explain it to him and... Okay. All right, Mr. DeMacchio, Boston Palm Memorial Police Department. Based on what we got going on today, I'm concerned you're operating a vehicle under the influence, okay, most likely of alcohol, possibly drugs, okay? Based on how I saw you in the car, the manner of the crash, having a hard time getting out, stumbling around, I want to make sure you're okay to drive, Mr. DeMacchio. I'm going to offer you some standardized field sobriety tests. Are you willing to take those today? No? No? Okay, Mr. DeMacchio, you're now under arrest for operating a vehicle under the influence, okay? i got to have you stand, step out of the car real quick. I'm not going to handcuff you, but i got to get your stuff out of your pockets, okay? Real quick, I'm just going to pat you down. i got to take you to our sally port, okay? Put your legs apart for me, sir. Legs apart for me, please. All right, Mr. DeMocchi, if you could take a seat. Where else is wallet? Ah. Nope. Okay. Very good. Um. I don't know what you want to do. Working like I can do the PAT test on station. Do you, do you have your wallet on you? No. Where Where is it at? In the, I looked in the car, I couldn't find it. My wife. Your wife has it? Okay. I got you. Sit tight one second. I think we do because the property OBI, so you have to do it. You do? Yeah. If you could get uh I guess their insurance, their building insurance or whatever, if they have it. He said that no damage. No damage onto that port, so Very good. He doesn't. He said that that's fine. Okay. No God, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. So. The way she goes. I have the key to the. Yeah, she's yeah. coming back to she's get it. But, but, okay, I'm gonna grab the key real quick. Alright, so we're going to release the car to your wife, so it's not going to be impounded or anything like that. We're just going to run to station. I'm going to give you the opportunity to take a breath test, and I'm going to release you to your wife, okay? Alright. Alright. 
time, sir. I'll give you your cell phone, keys. We gave the uh, key fob of the truck to your wife so she could pick it up. What do you mean? So, so, so we didn't impound the truck. We gave the key fob to your wife so she could come get it. And we're going to have her come pick you up, okay? That's fine. Okay, you take a seat there. i got to read you. i got to read you this form real quick. All right, so this is your copy. Read along after reading this to you, okay? So consequences of test and refusal, okay, under revised code 4511192. You refuse to take any chemical test required by law. Your current driving privileges will be suspended immediately. So if you refuse because you have that prior out of uh, Avon Lake in 2005, if you uh, refuse your automatic ALS suspension is two years, okay, with your one prior, if you blow at .08 or above, it's going to be one year. Okay. So once that machine is ready, it's going to ask if you want to take the test or not, which time it lets you think it over. Okay. Yeah. Just to tell you this, if you want, you can give your wife a call and all that. Just let her know you're back here. We're going to have her pick you up once we're done with all the paperwork. Okay. I can't compel you to sign that. Just mark it refused. Yeah, no. Okay. All right, Mr. DeMocco, we're going to go to my car. We're going to finish up some paperwork. Uh, we're going to get you out of here, okay? This is the second time Councilman DeMacchia has been charged with driving under the influence. His license was immediately taken after he refused a breathalyzer test. Do you think his political status afforded